Hi, this is Kathleen from Sunny Mountain Patterns. I'm going to show you how to use Inkscape to figure out how many yards you need for a particular garment. Most designers add a little bit extra for shrinkage, but if you want to know exactly how much you need or they haven't added it in, um, you can use this technique. So here's Inkscape. First, you're going to go to File, Document Properties. Move this over and unclick the show page border. You can change your units here if you want as well to inches. Um, don't really need it. So we're not gonna show the border and then just close. Uh, that little page thing that annoys everybody goes away. So we're gonna actually add in, I made a template um, as a PDF. So we're going to file, import, and then find the template. I have, sorry, I have a lot of files. Uh, if you could just remember where you put it. Let's see, I think I have it under drafting resources. It's wherever you put it. So I have one for imperial for metric yardage. I couldn't remember what the word for meter, meterage, that's probably not right. Or um, regular yardage calculation, which is imperial. So I'm gonna use that one, for example, and just say, leave everything the same and say, okay. It's gonna plot this in and this is very, very zoom. So we're gonna zoom out. Uh, so here you can see that I've got different widths, boxes that have widths. So there's 60 inch, 54 and 44 inch. Um, this is folded, so you can assign top or bottom to be fold. Just remember which one's fold, and then it's graded by a no, uh, about a one eighth of an inch. Next, what I suggest you do is lock this so you don't actually mess this part up, and then add in a layer. So you can go to layer, add layer, and then just have one above the current at. So this is the one we want, the layer we want to be working on. So make sure down the lower left says layer two. Good. Now let's go ahead and import um, your pattern. So I'm assuming that you either have a A0, a projector, or you have stitched together your um, tiled pattern. So again, it's file import. And then we're gonna go find a pattern. Just grab a random pattern. So let me just grab that one, let's say zero. It's gonna plop that down eventually. Sometimes it takes a long time, okay. So you're gonna to have to ungroup this by shift control G or going to object ungroup. Cause I don't want, uh, there's a bunch of stuff I don't want here. Just keep deleting until you get rid of that stupid black layer. <sighs> So I just grabbed one of the size layers. Um, you can zoom in. If you have a scroll button on your mouse, it's you press control and then scroll forward to zoom in and scroll backwards towards you to zoom out. So I just grabbed one of the layers. Um, just pretend this is the size that I want. Now. And then you hold down shift to scroll to pan left and right. I might be a little awkward because I was just using Illustrator and it's slightly different buttons. Okay, So if you need to bulk this up to see it, that's fine. Um, in this case I do, so it's going to be object, fill in stroke, should pop up here, um, I'll just increase the points to say four points just so it's easy to see. Okay, so if this is the size that we want. We can move all of this over here. You generally have understand the shape and outline, so you can see that these are moving together. So we're gonna ungroup this again, shift control G to ungroup one more time. Don't embarrass me, Inkscape. This worked before when I tested this out. If that doesn't work, go object ungroup. There, it wouldn't, Inkscape was embarrassing me. So you can see I can move these individually. Um, so for example, I know that this back piece needs to be um, on the fold. So let me assume that this is the fold up here. So if you double click on it, click twice, not double click, click once, then click twice. So it's slower click than uh, double clicking. You probably heard my mouse clicking fast. That was a mistake. You can see these little handles here pop up. 
and you can just rotate it. If you want it to be perfectly 45 degrees or 90 degrees rotation, hold the control button. If you're using Illustrator, it's shift. And now you can see where we can line this up here. Beautifully. If you're getting irritated with it snapping, uh, two things. I'm gonna close this. To the right, there should be, or, or these symbols on the right on my screen. I don't know how it's set up on your computer, but look for these. You can just turn that off and it will um, stop snapping, which can get irritating. So say you want both of these to be nicely uh, aligned with each other because you have a pattern or a print. You're going to have to also turn this one. There's a way to rotate it as well. I think you can right click and say, no, you can't. Let, let's just pretend I didn't say any of that. Oh, now everybody wants to bark. So I'm holding sh control while I'm shifting to get a very nice um, rotation. So you can uh, mark all of these, uh, put all of the things that you need on fold. So if this happens where they're separate pieces, like here, you can see they're actually separate lines. If I could just use the right key, you can go ahead and group these so they move together or just highlight them all and move them all together. And, uh, but I'm going to group them, Control-G or Command-G if you have a Mac. I'm not sure if Inkscape actually works on a Mac. So for example, this waistband would also need to be a cut and fold. Click, rotate. Um, okay. So what happens if you are cutting on, say, an ultra short throw? Well, you can double the width so that it would be uh, the fabric unfolded like this. Oops, sorry, I hit my mic. And I'm gonna show you what I'm doing in a second. Um, be, uh, double the this layer, you have to unlock it first. And then mirror these, which I'll show you in a second. I'm just aligning things. So you can go to the line and distribute, which is also an object. Align distributes all it at the bottom. Um, but I'm going to align these so that they're all, they're both matched up on the top. Oh, hello. Relative to drawing. Relative to less selected. You have to change this sometimes. Okay. And they're aligned. So say this is some a format I'm quite happy with. Um, one more rotation, just because you guys need to... So at a 60 inch, at a obviously not the most efficient layout, you can play around with this more, but for purposes of this tutorial, it's three quarters. Why am I pointing at the screen? You can't see that here. About three quarters of a yard you would need for this particular size at in an inefficient, probably fairly inefficient layout. I'm sure I could get more efficient, but let's move on. So what if you have an ultra short throw that you want to double, or uh, not double, sorry, you wanted to cut on one layer, for example, or uh, you know, some people like doing that. Well, we're going to have to unlock, unlock layer one. So go down to the bottom left hand corner, go to layer one, unlock it. Um, and then we are going to ungroup this, shift control G, and I want to select this rectangle. You can of course also not un unlock it and not um, ungroup it, that's fine. You can just make a rectangle, but I'm gonna do this with the, with the rectangle already provided, so I'm control C, and then wherever your mouse is is where it's gonna paste it, so um, control V will paste, or command V. Now this is the case where I'm gonna put the snap back on because I want it to snap right on top of here so I have exactly the right width. If you don't want to do this and you want to make a rectangle instead, on the left hand side there's a create rectangle in squares. You can trace over um, this 60 inch wide. Like so. And then move that up. It's perfectly fine too. You can do this for any of these. Um, you're just gonna have to be aware that 
you're gonna be seeing the other line. So just make sure you make a different color or something. If you have to move like 54 up or you know, 44 on the bottom for inches. So if that's the case, let's get to the fun part. Uh, so say you need this to be unfolded because you're not cutting on the fold anymore. Now you have to copy this, Control C, paste somewhere, and then you press H to do it on the horizontal, so this way, or V to do flip on the vertical, which is exactly opposite how I would think it would go. And then because I have snaps on, it should snap right to that corner. I need to zoom in a little bit more. There. Same thing with this. If you want to cut both sides and have it mirrored, just copy and control V. I think I used the V to do it. And then you can, of course, um, lay this out. This might have, if you have a thick enough, um, thick enough lines, you can go ahead and uh, print this as a PDF and use it for your projector as your layout. Eh. Uh, which I know there's another tutorial. I believe Marta Godescalia. I am sorry, Marta, if I messed up your name, your last name. I'm sure she has a tutorial on that. But basically this is how you do it. You can do it for any of the widths. I also have a metric version um, for meterage, I suppose. But uh, I hope this is helpful for you. I've included the PDF in the group files. Thanks a lot.